hour out till racing DGM. Course is super, super fun. Only a few things that are tricky. The first off camber after the start is pretty tough. Um, the first three laps I nailed it pretty okay, and then the last two laps uh, I couldn't couldn't hit it. So um, we'll see how it goes. Um, probably start in the back like I always do. And tonight is just about again experience here in Europe. The the courses here are just insanely fun. Um, I don't know how to describe it. In America, we don't have that. Uh, so, uh, and and even the races in China, they're not as, you know, it's just like they're technical, and they're really fun to just ride. They're flowy, no expectations. Just gonna go out again, just learn, and uh, try to give them my best. So we'll see you uh, after. Hey Josh! Hey! Hey Josh! Come on, Josh! Hey, go, go, go! Hey! What you doing, Pete? Getting the bike spick and span ready to go for tomorrow's uh, tomorrow's race over in Luxembourg. Uh, it wasn't too much mud in Begum, but uh, obviously it was still really wet ground, and there was plenty of plenty of uh, mud and sand that gets kicked up, and so clean bike functions a lot better than a dirty bike. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-huh. How did Deegan go for you? Better than I expected. Uh, lasted four laps and was able to have just an overall good time. Uh, I pushed myself in the way I wanted to, but also was able to kind of soak up the experience of being in front of thousands of people at probably the biggest event of, biggest cycling event I'll probably ever do. So it was a real treat, a lot of fun. Would love to do it again. Very nice. Degim has actually been a full day. Um, just been kind of conked out all day. Very tired. Still a little jet lagged, but not too bad. I had a pretty bad start on my race. I wouldn't say it was technically that good. And it was really chaotic. Like, you know, you, you go off the start pavement and then there's a first turn and it's become super tight one like kind of chicane but it's like a full 180 chicane so yeah i mean it was just pretty much chaotic i was at a standstill uh most of the time and uh, then i kind of was i was patient and just kind of went when i could and i eventually had a pretty good pretty good start uh, i made my way through about like 10 guys and then on the second lap at one point, I don't know what exactly happened, but my front tire was starting to lose air. And before knowing at the beginning of the race, I didn't know there was two different pits. I threw to go get a bike, and my mechanic wasn't there, which is David. Uh, I know better for next time to kind of, uh, I know better to study the course map next time, so I know that there's two different pits. Uh, now we're in Hasselt. Hustled, hassled, I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, we're staying with Ben Burden, which is really cool. Uh, I'm excited to hang out with him for a couple days. Uh, we're getting geared up to do Luxembourg uh, tomorrow. Two hour drive to go race a smaller C2 compared to the C1 in Ball. So far, Peter's up on the 2 0 in the races. Finished basically 1 2 right behind each other both nights. Here's Hasselt. We walked around earlier today, got some lunch, got some coffee, found a supermarket so we can start actually cooking our own food instead of having hotel food and dinner out or lunch out. Uh, it's just a little bit better for us. Uh, it's hard to eat vegetables here. Not hard, but like most of the restaurants have fried food, which is cool, but sometimes you just don't want to get rid of it. So. It's a stomper, it's a stomper, it's a stomper, it's a stomper.